We have a big update from Volkswagen. The world's second largest automaker by sales outlined a significant new electric vehicle roadmap today, Monday, focusing on batteries and charging technology, switching to solid state batteries. By 2030, Volkswagen will set up six gigafactories for battery sales in Europe, relying on both partnerships and the expansion of in-house production. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please join our channel, subscribe, and let's get started. Started. Volkswagen also said in investment, Sweden's Northvolt is lending supplier of battery cells, including a $14 billion order over the next decade. The plants will have a combined production capacity of 240 gigawatt hours per year, Volkswagen said, switching to solid state batteries. Eventually, it eyes solid state battery cells by the middle of the decade. In the meantime, Volkswagen unveiled a sale that helps bridge the gap. The new prismatic unified cell also offers the best conditions for the transition to the solid state cell, the next quantum leap in battery technology. That was a quote. The prismatic unified cell will launch in 2023 and could slash battery costs in half, Volkswagen said. Solid state batteries could transform electric cars with fast recharging times, lower costs and increased battery life, thereby removing obstacles that have held back the mass adoption of electric vehicles. I've reported that Toyota is working on solid state batteries and, uh, and now Volkswagen. Volkswagen has partnered with solid state battery maker QuantumScape. For nearly a decade, in 2018, the companies set up a joint venture to make solid-state batteries, and Volkswagen now owns a stake in the California-based QuantumScape. After QuantumScape's latest breakthrough, Volkswagen announced a solid-state switch. QuantumScape appears to achieve a major breakthrough in developing solid-state lithium metal batteries. The batteries promise to be safer and cheaper, have a longer lifespan, charge faster, and have more energy density than existing lithium-ion batteries uh, like Tesla is using. On February 16, QuantumScape company revealed it can produce multilateral battery cells. Its four-layer battery is still short of the 12 or so needed to be commercially viable. But the company is confident enough in its ability to make progress that it decided to build a pre-pilot pre -pilot production facility to make enough batteries for hundreds of long-range battery electric test vehicles per year by 2023. That's almost one and a half years away. US listed Volkswagen stock rose 7% to close at 29.76 on Monday stock market trading, well above the 10 and 40 week lines. Tesla stock relied, uh, rallied 2% and QuantumScape stock climbed 6.8%, rallying further above the 10 week line. EV battery stock Romero Power added 2.2%, top US automaker General Motors, which plans to bring more battery production in-house as well, is 2.2%. Uh, Volkswagen is one of the most ambitious pivots to electric vehicles um, about, uh, among legacy automakers, friends, in Tesla's wake. Last November, Volkswagen hiked its planned investment on digital EV technologies to 73 billion euros, that's $86 billion over the next five years, up from 60 billion euros to 73. On Monday, Volkswagen also announced plans for a vast expansion of electric vehicle charging infrastructure. By 2025, it, seems, it sees 18,000 public fast charging points in Europe, a uh, five-fold expansion versus today. In addition, Volkswagen will deploy fast charging points at gas stations run by Great Britain's BP, Spain's Iberdoia, and Italy's Enel. It's also expanding public fast charging networks in the United States and China. Volkswagen also plans to switch to a, like I said, unified battery cell design by 2023, which is the solid state. One that will be used in up to 80% of Volkswagen Group vehicles spanning several brands. The new unified battery cell 
will be produced in-house with Volkswagen working to base as many of its electric offerings as possible on a single architecture that can be used by vehicles in different segments. Here's what Volkswagen said. We aim to reduce the cost and complexity of the battery and at the same time increase its range and performance, says Thomas Schmal, Volkswagen Group board member for technology. He also said this will finally make uh, immobility affordable and the dominant drive technology. This is very import important, dominant drive technology. Here's what they also say. Schmal also said, we will use our economies of scale to the benefit of our customers when it comes to the battery too, Schmal added. On average, we will drive down the cost of battery systems to significantly below 100 euro per kilowatt hour. This will finally make e-mobility, that means electric cars, affordable and the dominant drive technology. What's more, the unified battery cell that Volkswagen intends to put into production starting in 2023 will be a stepping stone on the way to solid state batteries and will use a prismatic as opposed to pouch based format. Volkswagen expects that the cost of production of the unified battery cell will be reduced by up to 50% in entry-level models when coupled with strategic business partnerships with suppliers and battery producers. producers. In addition, reducing its reliance on outside suppliers for batteries, Volkswagen will also focus on building a charging network in Europe and in North America with plans to operate some 18,000 public fast charging points in Europe by the year 2025 together with BP and Ionity. As a part of this effort, Volkswagen plans to install 150 kilowatt fast chargers at 4000 BP and Aral stations in Europe, specifically in Germany and the United Kingdom. Volkswagen also plans to work with Enel in Italy and uh, Iberdola in Spain on adding charging stations to existing motorway fuel stations, investing some 400 million in Europe alone by 2025. This is why solid state is very important to cut charging time. When it comes to the US, Volkswagen already owns and operates the station building company Electrify America, which aims to have 3,500 stations in the United States by the end of 2021. E-mobility has become core business for us. We are now systematically integrating additional stages in the value chain, said um, Herbert Dies, chairman of the board of management of the Volkswagen Group. He also said, we secure a long-term pole position in the race for the best battery and best customer experience in the age of zero emission mobility. Overall, the company's first power day, which was today, delivered was uh, power day delivered what was expected, including plans to isolate the streamlined battery production for use by 80% of the group's vehicles, including not only Volkswagen's ID lineup, but also the brands like Porsche, Audi, Escort, Skoda, Bentley, and Seed, writes Adovix J. Ramey. The remaining 20% of batteries are expected to be narrower use design for sports cars, not head to guess which brands could receive more tailored high performance designs. Exciting news for Volkswagen. In relevant news, big EV news, Toyota electric SUV, its first global electric vehicle is bound to be unveiled at Shanghai Auto Show that's coming up in April, in less than a month, almost a month. The near production concept is about the size of Toyota's top selling RAV4 SUV. This is going to be one of the most serious challenges to Tesla. But it's very exciting that Volkswagen is switching to solid state. Toyota is seriously working for solid state batteries. Tesla has been a little skeptic. I think Tesla tried solid state, didn't work. Tesla is focusing on its 4680 batteries. Right, Volkswagen switching to solid state and putting timeline for that is a very important news, especially after the latest breakthrough from QuantumScape. 
Well, friends, let me know what you think about this. This is very interesting. This is um, if Volkswagen wants to use its existing gas stations to put EV charging, you have to make some changes in gas stations because right now, when you even you fast charge, you either need to read a book or read something or make a room like you go like a library type of room in your gas station so people can sit and read a book and have some recreation, maybe some internet access while their car is being charged. But Volkswagen. Uh, having a plan to switch to solid state batteries is very important news especially this morning that Panasonic's outgoing CEO said that if Panasonic wants to grow it needs to cut its reliance its one leg reliance on Tesla and make different types of batteries I think they will also look into solid state batteries for other cars like Volkswagen or other uh, legacy car makers switching to electric uh, mobility this is Armin Harian from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel. Like this video. If this video was useful and informative, please, it helps to put them in front of more EV uh, enthusiasts and more people to help the transition to electric vehicle. And also, if you want to su support us, please send us an applaud that you see the button next to the like button. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone. And peace be with all of you.